Hello lovelies, you are welcome to Bridges vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare a popular Nigerian soup called the Ogbono soup. But the interesting thing here is that I'm going to prepare this soup without a single drop of oil. Surprising, right? Well, keep on watching and I will reveal some secrets to you. Now, I've got good news for those of you who your doctor probably must have told that so you need to reduce your oil intake like drastically because your heart health is in danger. Well, don't worry. You can reduce your oil intake and still enjoy your favorite Nigerian dishes and soups and whatever, which in my subsequent videos I'll be showing you many more recipes on uh, how to cook without using any oil and mostly nigerian food recipes that you are gonna love and enjoy and still take care of your health the name of this special ingredient is turmeric and i'll be using this turmeric in replacement of palm oil in the preparation of this ogbono soup now here is the cash normally i will need a cup of palm oil to prepare this soup and this one cup of palm oil contains 1906 kilocalories that is very high, like really calorific. But then the replacement ingredient, which is my turmeric, which is 30 grams in this preparation, is only 120 kilocalories. Can you see the difference, guys? The difference is really terrific. The ingredients and their measurements will be written in the description section below. Please check. Now, before I proceed to show you in the video how I made this soup, I just want to quickly outline few health benefits of turmeric. This turmeric has an active ingredient called curcumin, and this curcumin makes turmeric a food with a potentially positive effect on heart health and beyond basic nutrition. Number one health benefit of turmeric is that it helps slow and prevent blood clots. And I'll just rush myself through this list of benefits. Just maybe in another video, I'll make a separate video to really outline the health benefits of turmeric. But rushing through it is the first one is that it helps to slow and prevent blood clots. And uh, also it has been found that to reduce depression symptoms. And the funny thing about it is that there's a medicine called fluoxetine, which is often used on depressed patients. And turmeric has been found to have the same effect on patients as fluoxetine. And also, turmeric helps to fight inflammation, as in it has high anti-inflammatory compounds. Another thing is that turmeric boosts skin health. In fact, that is another word of things to talk about when it comes to turmeric boosting skin health. Another health benefit is that it has been found that it has the possibility of performing a common arthritis drug. I'll also be found that it could treat certain kinds of cancer like prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, and most especially breast cancer. Turmeric has also been found to potent against diabetes. And here is the shocking fact of it. It is 400 times more potent than meds for me, a common diabetes drugs. Then turmeric has also been found to fight cholesterol. And its effect is comparable to atovastatin at reducing oxidative stress and treating high cholesterol levels in humans. Turmeric also helps manage pain. Like this is true. I was not told, I experienced this. Even my husband testified to it. Like before now, I used to have joint pains, back aches, even my spinal cords used to ache sometimes. And I thought, oh, maybe it's from the stress of giving birth to children or something. Or probably from overweight or something, which is the reason why I want to lose weight. But I discovered that since I eliminated palm oil or so several oils from my diet and I started using turmeric. Like right now, I'm a living testimony and even my husband, I don't feel any joint pains anymore. Back pain, all sorts of aches. I don't feel it anymore. Which makes me confirm that, oh, turmeric has really done wonders in my body. And also, consumption of turmeric can help the liver to efficiently detoxify the body and alleviate the effects of dangerous carcinogens. So, friends, that's just few health benefits of turmeric so that you know that this powerful spice of life <laughs> is more than what it seems. So, now let's go to the video and I'll show you step by step way of preparing this delicious soup. So, these are my ingredients. 
baby. And here I already have the cow tribe cooking for about an hour, 30 minutes now because it's pretty hard and it takes long to cook. So I have to put it before hand and with one billion cube to season it. Now I'm adding another liter of water, precisely one liter, in order to begin adding the other ingredients. And that's my beef. Another billion cube to make it two. And that will be all the seasoning I'm using for the soup. I'm just salt and some salt. To taste. My crayfish blended nicely blended. My cayenne pepper. Giving it a good steer. My fish, macro fish. And uh, you can't use any meat or fish or chicken, anything you feel like using. Depends on your choice. You can use anything, even snails, whatever you feel like using. And of course, my golden spice of life, turmeric. Now believe me guys, this soup is, let me just say it's a doppelganger for the real bowl of prepared with palm oil. Because in taste, there's no difference. Honestly guys, there's no difference. I can bet a thousand dollars on this. No difference in taste. If you don't tell anybody that, oh, I did not prepare this soup with palm oil, the person will not even know, will not even give it a single thought. And here I'm using dried pumpkin leaves because uh, the fresh one is hard to come by where I live. That is why I'm putting it beforehand. But if you are using fresh pumpkin leaf, it's better to put the leaves like two minutes before you remove the soup from the stove. But because this is dried pumpkin leaves, and I just had to put it with the meat to cook so that it will soften it. You can use any vegetable of your choice. It may be water leaf, spinach, kale, different kinds of vegetables that suit you. And as for the cayenne pepper, I just use 8 grams, which is what suits my taste. For you, some people like more pepper and some like less pepper, so you can do it whichever one you prefer. And that's the ogbono, blended ogbono seeds. I just have to put it there, in there, and cover it in halfway to moisten it, just to moisten it. And the reason why it's covered that way, halfway and not fully covered is because if you cover it fully, it will stop the drawiness. We call it some people say drawy or sliminess or drawiness of the of the ogbono seeds. So that's why I covered it halfway. Now it's moist the way I want it. So I removed it from the pot and you can see the, it's bubbling and boiling. This ogbono soup is heart healthy, very healthy. So if a doctor told you not to eat oil again, you don't have to think of, oh, what do I use to cook ogbono soup? What do I eat it with? No, 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 no. You can go on and enjoy your ogbono and believe me, the taste is the same. The same, no difference. So you have nothing to lose and you have all to gain, including a healthy heart, healthy weight. And since I've started using turmeric and changing my diet as a whole, I've lost a couple of kilos, you know, in my weight loss journey. It works very well for me. And of course, I'm making my potato puree to eat with it. You could use uh, pounded yam, a bar, a mala, whatever you choose to use, anything of your choice. 
I must mention that Ogbono helps weight loss, as in it hates weight loss. Because American scientists have done a study on it and they discovered that it helps to knob your appetite, like cut it. When you eat Ogbono, prepared rightly, not with a lot of oil, you will not feel hungry. As for me, I'm just going to take this soup with uh, beef, fish and stock fish and I'm not using any amala or piru and the one I'm making is for my family. I'm not eating it. And believe me, I'll be full till the next day. It is actually a weight loss food if you prepare it the right way. The effect this Ogbono soup has on my system is the same effect a black coffee we have on me. Because whenever I take black coffee, I just see that I'm not hungry, I don't feel like taking anything, I'm energized. The same thing Ogbono does to me, I just don't feel like eating anything else. And here I removed the fish so that it doesn't pieces inside the soup because when I had the Ogbono, the blended Ogbono seeds, it's going to need a good stirring and if I should do that with the fish in, then it will hold the bones and pieces. That is why I have to remove it. So you give it a good stir. You see the color, everything, just as if you use red oil. This is too thick, so I'm gonna add some more water. Some people like the Ogbono very light. I know of, of some friends who does, and some like theirs very thick and exotic. But for me, this does it for me. This is just the right way I want it to be. So you can do it whichever way that suits you. Wow, the Ogbono soup is ready. But this push mango seeds is not so dry because you know it's not like I can get it fresh from home where you can get the real one but at least this is closest to what I have at home but still tastes the same very tasty and there you have it, the Ogbono soup is ready, as simple as it can be. So thank you guys for watching and if you like my video please subscribe and if you tried this my recipe please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much guys. Bye. I'm mashing your leg but now. Shepi I know they see you. Shepi I don't they crazy.